हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर निशा भटनागर मेडिकल डायरेक्टर अवेया फर्टिलिटी एंड आई सेंटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंडीशन लो वेरियन रिजर्व We have seen a increase in the incidence of low ovarian reserve in the past decade. There are so many females coming with the complaint of being diagnosed with low ovarian reserve. So what is low ovarian reserve? Low ovarian reserve is a condition where you have less number of eggs in your ovaries. There is a reduced number of eggs in both of your ovaries. So this is called as low ovarian reserve. What are the symptoms? Most of the times females don't feel anything. they go with the inability to conceive to get their checkup done or they have suffered a miscarriage in the past and they go for the treatment to the doctor or they have just uh, you know shorter cycles and they go to the doctor for the diagnosis and they come to know that they have low ovarian reserve so let's talk about causes what causes low ovarian reserve the most important factor here is age Every woman is born with certain number of eggs and out of that given number a fixed number is utilized every cycle. So in the beginning of cycle on the second or third day there are around 8 to 10 eggs in both the ovaries with a normal ovarian reserve. Out of these 8 to 10 eggs only one egg become dominant and is utilized in that cycle. So for every one good egg we are actually losing about 10 to 12 eggs. As you age obviously the number of remaining eggs becomes less other than age there are other factors which can impact the ovarian reserve which is number 1 the genetics you might have inherited this in your genes there are conditions like fragile x syndrome or there are other genetic conditions which you should check to know if that is the reason for low ovarian reserve other than age and genetics there are factors like infections there is condition like endometriosis there are conditions where you have you have if you have endometriosis it affects the quality of egg as well as the quantity of eggs if you have received any kind of chemotherapy or any kind of uh, radiotherapy in your past for any type of cancer you actually are prone to have low ovarian reserve so if you have got all these things you can check you know uh, how to diagnose that you have low ovarian reserve there are three ways to diagnose low ovarian reserve number 1 you can go for a blood test you can check the amh value on any day of your cycle you can do the fsh lh and e2 value on the second day of your periods you can get a simple thing like a transvaginal scan done to know the number of eggs in your either of your ovaries to know about low ovarian reserve these are simple test you can just visit a doctor and get these tests done and you will know about the number of eggs left in your ovaries so let's talk about treatment what is the treatment the treatment is age specific it depends upon where you are in your reproductive uh, phase so if you are about 25 to 28 years or less than 30 years of age and you have low ovarian reserve doesn't mean that you can not get pregnant you can still approach your doctor you can increase the you can fasten your treatment so that you can have your own genetic child if you are less than 30 of, years of age i would su- suggest that you can opt for one or two cycles of iui check with your doctor you can know where you stand are there any other factors for uh, infertility if there are no other factors you can opt for one or two cycles of iui and if the ovarian reserve is less than like if there it is very low if it is less than 2 i suggest that you should consult your fertility specialist and you can opt for ivf cycles if you are more than 30 years of age actually you should meet your doctor and start for your treatment as early as possible there is no point in waiting even if you are not planning to carry the pregnancy now you can opt for freezing your eggs or your embryos for future use in case of low ovarian reserve if you are more than 35 years of age this should be done as soon as possible if you are more than 40 years of age there might be options 
other than your own genetic child like egg donors or something else which you may consider so if you want to know more about low ovarian reserve or if you have any questions about it you can ask us in the comment box below you can call us on our toll free number and we will be happy to share the information thank you so much